Hello, hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Sword Art Online. Alicization Licorice in the last episode was a frustrating side quest. Well, we did a bunch of uh, side quests, which um, in my opinion is kind of frustrating. <laughs> uh, yeah, in this episode, uh, actually off screen, I was mostly grinding and also uh, completing some. Uh, Expanding our skill tree as you can probably tell here. So yeah, we have like loads. So now we can expand this Yeah Yeah, you can uh, Many of these have the you have to go to the statue to unlock But now we have quite a bit of uh, our skill tree has expanded. We have yet to un unlock this one uh, This one I think we can I think it doesn't matter if it's you using it. I think it's more of uh, your character will, uh, uses this or not so it depends on uh, what you set um, what use what uh, where is that blooming setting I forgot it's not this one I think it's one of this setting here but let's uh, restore back our party uh, uh, because actually I was busy on raising Affinity levels. So, where's Arsenal and all this mess? Okay, uh, today we're gonna have a different part. So, yeah. Actually, I already started the fish. Uh, to, this episode will be a little bit short because we're gonna be doing the fisherman upgrading our fishing rod. So, as you may have not noticed, if you were playing, yeah, I somehow was grinding off screen really hard. Whoa! And you probably can tell. You can see here, our fishing rod is just a sturdy uh, branch rock. So, and our fishing level is at level nine. So, it took me forever to get to this level. So, I want to increase our chances, so we are going to upgrade our fishing rod, and that involves this service request. The first of the upgrades you can get from this... From the... F where is it? Ah, here we go. From Rhind Lakeshore. So, we are going to go over there quickly. So, yep. Because... And also I was exploring off screen, so there's a lot more areas that I've explored. And, uh, yes, uh, grinding a bit. My target was actually to get, reach level 40 before we move on with the main storyline. I know it might not be necessary, um, but I just want to be safe. Just in case there's an, like, an overpowered enemy that would kill us. Okay, so let's head to this uh, fisherman's village and close off this quest from this guy here. So you get the quest from this guy. His name is Ch Chide, and he'll and actually fiber you can find throughout the, I believe throughout the overworld. So you just, it's an item drop, so you don't have to worry about finding monsters. Just find, just pick up any item you find. Hmm? So. Now we have completed the quest. So now we have a better fishing rod. So now he's gone. So you think we should go on a we should test drive the new fishing rod? Maybe we should actually, just for the sake of this video, since this video is just going to be about fishing. And you're going to see how crazy difficult it is. How do you fish in shallow water? Okay, let's try our new fishing rod. Let's see, so I guess it increases the probability of catching rare fish But I don't think it increases your uh, Your proficiency Yeah, it's still damn slow So yeah, we got a new fish called dart fish And yes, I did a good amount of exploring and picking up items, so I hope we have all the items. Otherwise, we are, you're gonna spend hours in this video. Whoa, what is that? 
An octopus. Wow. Wow, that's brilliant. <laughs> Flipping brilliant. Octopus. Okay. Let's let's see how much we can get out of this area. Dart fish. Okay, we're finally getting some good fish. Uh, okay, uh, let's focus on upgrading our rod here. Um, okay, the next one. Let's find it. We have to find fishermen actually. Uh, okay, let's see if we can find the next one. Da, 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 da. Nope. The next one. It's actually over here. This is another area that I didn't show you guys actually. Uh, the enemies are uh, slightly higher, but you uh, should be fine. <laughs> as long as you have a complete party, then it should be fine. Actually, at the same time, we're doing the. Hopefully, if uh, the most. Of, uh, hopefully, when we do these uh, service quests, uh, the affinity for silica will rise. So this is a. This person is a. Scholar. I don't think this is the guy we're looking for. Anywho. Lol. What are we doing attacking people? Well, let's just see what he has to say. Okay. So yeah, it's still somewhat a quest episode for now. What is the reward? Reward! I wanna see. Good thing you can actually see the reward. Let's see, service request. Oh, it's not the one. Oh well. So he's the weather guy. Oh, that's just sad. Okay. Uh, lantern slugs. Slugs! Okay, where are they? Nope, the quest the quest pointer most of the time doesn't work. So either you have to use your map to find them. Uh lantern slug. Oh, it's over here. So we just need to warp here and then go back the other way. I guess. Yes, you can take care of those um what do you call it, those clamps, but from my testing, when I was playing around, uh, I believe they reset, they respawn after a while. Even though you kill the 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 main clamp thing, what do you call it? What do you call it? The yeah, even though if you kill the clamp the clamp cluster, uh, they will still respawn. So yeah, it doesn't really. I don't know. It's not worth it, in my opinion. No, that's not it. They're actually on the other side. I remember seeing it on the way in when I was exploring. Yeah, sorry slugs, not interested. It's this one actually. These are the lantern slugs. Oh, we should have gone out. Actually, another thing uh, of this game is you can, if you find those wayfarers, you can actually find, you can actually invite them to your party and they'll fight alongside you. So you have a total of eight players. So it really makes the quest a lot easier to do. It can be your sacrificial pawn, pretty much. Two, three. There's another quest here though. Oh wait. Okay, let's head back. Okay, let's see if there's any more quests lying around. Okay. Okay, so now we have unlocked the side quest. Food vendor. 
I think we have to do several of these actually before we can actually uh, Okay, now we have a quest oh, We can actually see What is the reward? Uh, hmm This is the right place, right? I'm actually checking the map here if there's any quest lying around Oh uh, god This is Guess we have to do them, actually. <sighs> Why are you guys living here? That's the question. <laughs> I'm actually suspicious now. Okay, it's an item collection quest. The boy and his herbs. So, Wild Street Leaf. I never really knew. Where would you actually find them? See, as you can see, you can actually invite them to the party. I wonder if you can interrupt them while they're fighting. Oi! Talk to me! Yes, you can. Let's help them out. Uh, I think Yuji just leveled up as well. Hello. Oi. Talk to me. Check status. Level 31. Okay. We invite them to the party. Why not? <laughs> So now we have a much stronger team here to fight. Um, a wild street leaf. What would that be exactly? I would think it's somewhere along here. It's one item. See, the quantity is one. So, my guess is a monster. The drop? <laughs> I have no idea, to be honest. You can kill these if you want, but honestly, I said no mood. Where would you find them? Of course, we we aggroed monsters, didn't we? Yeah, because we have a bigger party, most likely it angers the monster. We might as well. It's actually quite useful. And of course, we activated the Berserker skill. So that is probably something for Asuna to take advantage of. I think we turned on most of the skills, so... Oh, where are we gonna unlock? I'm trying to figure out where is this item. Because it's a... Because it's a one item... Drop, so I assume... It must be... From a monster. Wild Street Leaf. But the thing is, when I look at the service request, it's looking for medical herbs for an injured boy. So the greenery is just around here, if I'm not mistaken. So probably like pick up. Okay, it's not very helpful. Oh. 
This looks dangerous as AF. I have no idea where the item may be, so I'm just guessing here. If we die jumping off ledges here. I'm trying to be careful here. Whoa. Whoops. Of course if you notice some of our uh, some of our sacred arts were also upgraded. So. What is that? Is that a monster down there? No. If I didn't die. Just give it a minute to heal up. They say leaf, but I don't know where. I think you can even buy it. I'm not sure. Waiting for our health to recover here. Hey, let's go. Take them on. Time to go wild. You guys, honestly, is there anything behind that waterfall? Come on, pick up. It's not it. This is apples, I think. That's not it either. Very annoying, you can't find what you're looking for. It's a blimming leaf, so... You'd, ex you'd expect it'll be nearby, right? Oh, I don't know why the game hangs just now, but... Okay, it's still, it's still an apple. What did it drop this? That's a red dye flower. Not the one we're looking for. Must be a rarity then if it's if it's just an, a single item. It must originate from a monster. That is the other thing I had I had in mind actually. I said that I have no idea which monster drops this item actually. I'm checking our map here. Gargantuan beast. Forest fabric armor. Well, we'll be toast if we try to take that enemy on. Uh, same with the savage of nature. Iron Fortress Sword. Wow, I think that would be useful for something. Let's see if we can find... Okay. You took I only craft one thing right now. I still have not worked on that yet. Okay, let's, uh, let's keep exploring. Yep, clamp cluster. Okay, let's head up this way. Maybe there's something up here. So, uh, whoops. Uh, where on earth would it be exactly? Stupid leaf here. 
I always assume it's a monster drop, actually. Crabs won't have it. Just my hunch. RPG hunch. Hmm. Something's not right. What the crap? <laughs> Whoops. Let's see if we can find it or not. I think we explored the whole area and nothing sh The thing is, sometimes the item drop, until you're very close, then it shows up. It, it shows up in your field of view as an item you can pick up. So that's kind of frustrating at the very least. Let's go back this way. Of course, your party will disband if you enter town and they'll never come back again and then you have to find other other people. <laughs> uh, regarding the extra party members you can bring in to help you out. I think they normally help you with finding. They normally don't help you with, with fighting, sorry. Uh, not... Okay, let's head up. Up we go. It's probably one of the most jankiest. I always assume that it's in these awkward places. But no, it's Yellowstone. I think we need that also for a quest. But I think it's good to do the quest towards the end, of, like near close to the end, because by then you would have, you probably have explored a lot of the area. I tried to do it a lot of the exploration off screen, while trying to avoid triggering the main the main storyline. So I think the new area that we can go into, we can only go from North Centoria. We can only get there via horse, and then that will unlock the new area. And then we can get a save point. Then we can quick fast travel. Whenever we want. Okay, let's find it. Uh, I have no idea where this is. Oh my god. How come the alarm doesn't sound? Clearly is outside of our league. That's a yellow stone. Let's check over here. See, sometimes you have to be like really close, then only you can actually see the item. See if there's an item drop or not. See if we can find them. Mm. Or better, yeah, find a campfire and then make camp and then search for it in the morning. See? It's not that I... I do try to find them. Let's see if we can find them quick. Is it... If it's a random item drop, throughout the area then we're screwed uh, 
Oh, but I don't. Uh, the item drop rate is just horrible. Either that or the game is so buggy it doesn't want to drop items. I'm gonna burn ya. Arctic thorn. <laughs> God, I love that. Still don't see anything here. Maybe I can't even go in. Okay, I need to find a place to reload the area. Fail. Okay, what we're gonna do is going to refresh the area. I'm gonna change the time, maybe to daytime. Okay, but uh, hate this quest at times. Sad, there's no the item drop is just horrendous for this game at times. Where is the campfire here? Grapes, grape, that's not it. Yeah, I'm checking this area relatively thoroughly. And yet, we are still not seeing it. Rest, maybe until noon. That seems like an appropriate idea. I wonder if our party will bail on us. Okay, uh, now we're up and running again. Let's see if this uh, it refreshes the item drop for this area. That's a uh... okay. the area hasn't reset. Super annoying. I'm checking. There we go, got it. So it's next to this statue. That sucks. 
I was hoping for the fishing rod quest at least. Wait, where the lady is? Her, I think. Huh? <laughs> Wait, what? Whoops. Oh, we already defeated them. Ah, uh, sucks. Let's close this quest first. Okay. Sleep ants, huh? I think we defeated them earlier. Sleep ants is is that one um, that we is no nope, that's tag beetle. That's not what we want. It's the one at the end of the area just now. We were there just now actually. Uh, I wish I accepted all the quests before going, but I like to keep it in order so that you guys can follow along. And we still have our party there. Level 31. Generally, they'll be lower than you, so... It's honey Ant. Okay. You just look for the name. It should say Sleet Ant. But I think we killed them earlier, and now probably they don't want to respawn until I reload the area, which is... Which will be annoying if it doesn't. Okay, Honey Ant. Now off to the right, you should see a sleet ant. If the game decides to respawn them. And lo and behold, there it is. You nearly need one of them. Of course you guys, you go attack the ant. What are you doing? I only... Okay, uh, head back. I see more quests coming up too. Hopefully, one of them will give us the uh, the thing that we need. Uh, whoa, we have more. Yeah, I think what, okay, now we can check which one has the item that we need. We don't want to do all of them. Because... There we go. It's this kid. He will give it to you. Okay. Okay, now we have an upgraded rod uh, from earlier because the first one is easy, you just collect items. Lizard fish in the region. I don't think this marker will work. Actually, how many fishing area are there? There's one and two. Huh. Okay, let's just head there now. Yep, boring fishing, we're gonna have to do it. Which one is it? Oh, it's over there. Excuse me. Let's see if we can get the fishes that we need. Since we're level 9, I think it should be fine. We're supposed to catch 5 of what? Lizard fish. Yeah, that's how you do it. Now we have an improved rod, so it should be easy. Whoa. 
Whoa! Treasure! Awesome! Oh <laughs> my goodness. What are we finding in this river? First time I found treasure actually. Come to think of it. And there we go. Skidfish, okay, fine. Okay, let's throw the rod in. Yeah, I know it's boring, but yeah, it's fishing. What do you expect? What? No! Why? <laughs> Wait, what is the recommended level for this area anyway? I didn't even look at it. Oh my god. Recommended level, level 12. Okay, we are actually yellowing it here. Oh, this is the first time a rod failed on me. You caught treasure. Golden nugget. Oh, I'm sure going to make a lot of money out of that. Come on, give me a fish. We have two fishing spots here. The fish got away. How about we use the other one? <laughs> Just for fun. Or we'll get some regular fish. Oh, there you go. Aurora fish. I guess lizard fish are hard to catch, I guess. Oh, there you go. There's our second one. So there is a chance that it will fail basically if you're under leveled for that particular fishing area. Oh Kirito. Kirito that uh I'm failing at fishing. I wonder how much fish we have now. I'm just gonna inter switch between them, so just see how we do. Okay, come on. Yeah, there we go. Oh nope, that's not the one we're looking for. Yeah, ran out of fish. Yeah, come on, fish. Well, that's not what I was expecting, but oh well. No. <laughs> Fish got away. Yeah, I probably should be grinding off screen for that. Not what I was hoping for, but oh well. Okay, let's go to the other fishing area. So we have two of them now.
Okay, let's try and fish. For some reason, there's this big message that's stuck in front of us. Wow, Kirito, you suck. 14? Ah, oh, sucks. What the hell, Kirito? Come on, you can do it! <laughs> oh my god, it's failing. Okay, we might have... Now we see Kirito's weakness, actually. Skitfish. The thing is, sometimes you don't even earn any proficiency score. Which is very annoying. Got away. Oh, God. Oh, poor Kirito. He's just having a bad day right now. I think we're a little bit under leveled. But the problem is, it takes forever to level up. That's the thing. I think I have a better way of doing this. Hold on. We have to go to an area where it's slightly lower level. But I think Lizardfish is near that waterfall over there. Okay. Adio. There we go. We got it. Lizardfish. That's the highest I've ever seen. It's just. Always like plus two, at least make it higher. The fish that got away. <laughs> Never mind, we'll keep trying. Yeah, Kirito, you're not so proficient at fishing. Wow, the system even tells you you're not skilled enough to catch that fish. What an insult. <laughs> Wow, a lot of fail catches. Okay, um, to address this problem, we're going to have to go to a different area where the fishing level is a little bit less harsh. Wait, what? There we go. 
Now let's go find an area where we can actually fish. Is it this one? I think it is. There's that one big fishing area that we helped fix. Yeah, one is at level 12, which is insane, really. Who would spend their entire life fishing? <laughs> but we can also interval, so once we finish fishing, we'll go back and forth. So, fishing time. Let's try our new rod. So, yep, recommended level 5, so we should be able to handle this a lot better. Get a more consistent plus 2, plus 2, plus 2, plus 2. Only there's a way to speed up this scene. Oh my god. Skid fish, really? No, let's keep going. I think there's other areas you can actually catch a lizard fish, but... Treasure? I don't know who is in their right mind will be spending fishing. There's no way to make this go faster. <laughs> 35 over 50. You see how slow this is? Burrow fish. Skit fish. Fishing time. Skip fish, I think. And as you can see, there are times where you don't get any proficiency increase. Which only makes it a lot more annoying. I'm not sure what's the highest level you can go for fishing skill. Yep, there's level 40 there. So if you're on the level, there are a chance that you will fail to catch the fish. Which is kind of annoying. Okay, we're at 43 now. So I guess initially, the initial upgrade just have you find materials. Now it's just asking you to fish for certain fish to upgrade your fishing rod, which is kind of weird. Oh, we didn't even get anything out of that. Uh, let's check. What is this quest over here this guy has? Prize from cave. No, that's not... You don't need that. Sometimes I wonder if I'm taking these quests out of order. Which is kind of strange, really.
Let's check this area. Wow, who knew fishing would be that boring, but it has to be done. Actually, we could just go back to that area and just try our luck again. Because I think you can still do it, just that it's a lot more difficult if you're under, if you're not at the required fishing level. I do not see anyone with a quest that is asking us to do fishing tasks. So no, we don't. Okay, let's head back to the areas now. That would have reset the area. Um, and we'll take on the one. Okay, fishing on the other side. Yep, lots of fish. Don't fail, Kirito. Oh, come on, really? Stop playing hard to get. There we go. We got a lizard fish. One more to go. It'd be funny you can catch two fishes on a single rod. We're going to have a lot of failed attempts. Definitely. Skip fish. <laughs> the fish got away. Come on, Kirito, put your back into it. Okay, not what I wanted, but sure. Okay. There we go, got it. Lizard fish. Yay, level 10. And finally, it just wants to come. Let's just finish it up. The fish that got away. Okay, let's uh, go back to that guy. Okay, where's the kid? Yo, kid, we got your fish. 
Ja. Oh. <lacht> Eyo. Ja. Ja, Ah, oh, you useless kid. Thought you were gonna tell me where the. So now we have a fishing upgrade. to see where's the next I think that's as far as we can go in terms of fishing rods because according to my notes the next one is in an area that we have not visited yet so Ryan Lake Shore this is Warmia Green Belt Oh well, it's not here. <laughs> well, rip in pieces. We can't do anything about that. Let's try it. Let's try our new rod here. I'm actually very curious to see how well it performs. Uh, not here. So should be here. The crossroad splitting. Let's try a stronger rod. So let, let's try it first, then we'll close off this episode, this very short episode, because I believe these, uh, these other two rods on my notes is actually in a new area that we have not been to yet. So, so in the meantime, I'll be grinding off screen. Or, uh, to improve my fishing skills so that we can actually get these new rods. So let's try our new rod. Oh yeah! New rod! Give me fish! Give me fish! Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, I think that is all. Okay guys, uh, I think that will mark the end uh, of this episode for Soda Online. A very short episode actually, we are doing... I'll show you a bit of the fishing stuff. Uh, and then and the next episode, hopefully, uh, uh, we will continue with the main storyline. So in the meantime, I'll be grinding off screen. And also improving my fishing proficiency. So yep, thanks for watching. See you in the next episode. Take care. Bye-bye.